Today we're doing an angel flight from Boston to Philadelphia. So angel flights this organization that pairs people who need to travel for medical treatment who otherwise couldn't afford to get there with pilots who will fly them there. So we're going to pick up a 15 year old burn patient and her dad and fly them down to Philadelphia. Grand Angel Flight 1632, looking for high of Philly. Angel Flight 1602, full route for you. You're cleared to. Uh, let's see, Philadelphia via the Logan One departure to Bosox. That's Bravo Oscar. Clear to the Philadelphia Airport via the Logan One departure, Bosox, Victor One Graham, Victor One Four Norwich, Victor One Six Charlie Yankee November, Victor Three One Two Oscar Oscar Delta, then direct climb via the SID, Squawk One Four Seven Zero, Angel Flight Sixteen Zero Two. Angel Flight Sixteen Zero Two, all correct. Call me ready to taxi. Non-jet aircraft, climb assign heading, then uh, it's about the clearance. Sonic One at signature with Zulu Logan One ready for taxi. Meanwhile. I've lost clear, sir, Canada 367. Uh, we're ready to push the pilot for departure. Pilot 4A to Zulu, that's correct. I have a frequency. Departure, okay, 330. And clearance, Angel Flight 1602 is ready to taxi uh, with. What was it? Zulu. Zulu. Angel Flight uh, 1602, Mono on the ground, point 9. Yeah, point 9. Angel Flight 1602, Boston Ground, runway 22 right, taxi via Bravo November, cross 15 right, hold short of runway 15 left. 22 right, Bravo November, cross 15 right, short of 15 left, Angel Flight 1602. Angel Flight 160, we're going to change the route on you. Can you make that right on to Lima and taxi via Alpha to get to November? And, uh, yeah, we can make a right on Lima and then Alpha to November, Angel Flight 1602. American uh, 223, wait for an officer direction Bonanza at November. All right, wait for him at November for uh, 223. Angel Flight 1602 at November, American will give way to you. Angel Flight 1602. Okay, we're going to give him a second before we cross there. I'm happy with that spacing. It's still going to be a little windy. Angel Flight 1602, cross runway 15 left, monitor 12818, good night. Cross 15 left, 288, Angel Flight 1632, good night. Should be all set there, we got everything punched in here. Monitoring the tower frequency here at most big airports. Yep, move 405, uh, traffic to an airport. Rather than contact the seven, tower, runway they have a line right, of people, four, zero, and everybody's two, typically ready to go, they just Clear call you. Two, two right, simply 405. We'll give these guys a little space up ahead. FedEx 3736, heavy boss tower traffic's holding in position. Good speed across, crossing 82 right at Kilo and contact ground point 75. Sonic 1, boss tower, runway 22 right, line up and wait. Traffic will land on runway 27 and cross downfield. Line up and wait 22 right, Sonic 1. Blue 1281, the wind 26011, gust and 19 er runway 22 right, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 22 right, Jeff 1281. Angel flight 1602, boss tower, runway 22 right, line up and wait, traffic will land on runway 27. Line up and wait, 22 right, Angel flight 1602. Okay, I got the lights on, we'll give him just a minute there. If you don't need any of that, it close this. JetBlue 660, boss tower traffic will hold, cross runway 22 right at Charlie and contact ground point nine. Clear to cross 22 right at Charlie, over to ground the other side, JetBlue 660. JetBlue 1281, contact boss in the parts, we'll see you. 1281. Angel flight 1602, runway 22 right, cleared for takeoff, leaving 900 feet, turn right heading 250. Leaving 900 feet, 250, clear for takeoff, 22 right, Angel Flight 1602. American 223, Boston Tower, runway 22 right, line up and wait, traffic will cross downfield. Line up and wait, 22 right, American 223.
our Italia 61 Romeo, uh, we have to wait our stand uh, 15 to 20 minutes. We are traffic, going for 11 o'clock. Okay, 61 Same. Romeo Heavy, Roger, we'll just leave you right there until they're ready for you. Advise on us when the uh, sender will be clear. Alatay 61 Romeo Heavy, ground control's right next to me. When they're pushing that traffic back at your gate, we'll get you going. Okay. JetBlue 1410, Boss Tire Crossing, 82 Red at Echo, then contact ground point nine. Cross 82 Red Echo, point nine, JetBlue 1410. Alaska 798, Boss Tire Crossing, 82 Right at Kilo, then ground point nine. Cross Kilo, 22 Right at ground, Alaska 798, get in. Flight 1602, contact Boston departure, have a good night. Over to departure, Angel Flight 1602, good night. You look at the weather here. Uh, it looks pretty good along most of our route. Uh, we got some stuff here, it's going to be off to the side of ways. I don't expect that to really be an issue. Um, but here as we move into the Philadelphia area, we do have some, uh, some thunderstorms just outside of Philadelphia right now moving towards Philadelphia, but it looks like they're pretty slim moving and kind of going past, so uh, it probably won't be an issue either. We'll just see when we get there, and, uh, you know, where's the stores we can come over here. This should be all set. Uh, uh, it should be a nice little uh, 2300 for 5, sunset flight. When we get there, it be great. I kind of hate, like, uh, heading up maps. It's just so confusing to me. I agree. It should never go into that mode. Actually, it's got a nice return by turn direction, so we're right. driving, but, but... Yeah, so that stuff's moving right towards Philadelphia right now, but it looks like it's dissipating. I don't think it's going to be a factor. Now we'll go to Atlantic City, place blackjack. Then we'll go ahead and bring the power back just a bit. Wow, we've got the cowl flaps closed now, uh, leaning it out. Yes, uh, 1 hour and 45 minutes hasta Philadelphia. Bueno. Bueno. Cool. So uh, basically right now we just fly, do what ATC tells us to, we'll keep a little bit of an eye on the weather, and uh, right now we're transferring some fuel from the tip tanks to the main tanks, so we just gotta watch the levels there and turn off those pumps here in a minute uh, as those start to get full, and then we'll do that a little more later. So if you're uh, just flying privately and you're not a commercial operator like an airline or a charter company, there are a lot of restrictions the FAA places on how you can be reimbursed for a flight. And so, for example, you can't uh, be reimbursed more than your prorated share of the costs, and uh, you also can't you know, hold out, uh, you know, offer to the public rides uh, for a fee. And so, uh, for Angel Flight, though, uh, the FAA gives an exemption because it's this charitable organization, and so uh, they have a fund so they can reimburse you for a portion of the fuel. And so uh, because of that, though, there are a lot of extra requirements uh, we have to go through. And so uh, one of those things, which you should really do on, on every flight anyway, uh, weight and balance. And so uh, you know, in this plane, I'm pretty familiar with it, so I don't always do a weight and balance. But uh, today, you know, I had to plug in some numbers here. So we got uh, we started off with basically full mains and uh, about 30 gallons on the tips. Uh, got the weights for each bus. And then uh, we put in uh, really the ACG is what we're most concerned about. The passengers actually ended up sitting in the middle row, but uh, we put it in, put it in the uh, last row. Uh, so I think they were like uh, 120 and 115, something like that. And we got a little bit of stuff in the way back. And so we'll do that. And uh, so then we, we see here that we're all set. We're in uh, within the envelope. So that's good. So then we have to take that and send it to uh, Angel Flight, which uh, I already did. And so we have to do that for each leg of the flight. Uh, and the other thing is we have to complete a little checklist here to make sure that we're uh, doing everything in the safest way possible, that there aren't any undue risks. So really the, the whole reason the FAA limits these reimbursements is so that you don't have some monetary incentive to go out and do something stupid uh, without being in, uh, within the, the confines of uh, strict FAA rules specific to that operation. We're flying over Connecticut right now. Uh, just cross Rhode Island for a minute. And so we'll fly down here, uh, across Connecticut, down across Long Island Sound, along Long Island, over JFK, down across New Jersey, and then uh, over here into the Philadelphia area. Hopefully this weather will be out of the way uh, by the time we get there. I don't think it's going to be a factor because it, it looks to be dissipating. But we'll see how that goes and uh, maybe deviate a little bit if we have to or land somewhere else cold or something like that.
So that's Groton, Connecticut, off the left. And then uh, up there is Long Island, and so we'll fly just right along Long Island uh, over to JFK. Okay, hey, you can fly 1602. I got a memo to your close advisory copy. Hey, you can fly 1602. Go ahead. Hey, you can fly 1602. You're clear to Philly. Be a present position Victor 16 to Victor Charlie November. Victor 184. Oscar, Oscar Delta. Direct. That's for the maintain 6000. Okay, we're through to Philly uh, via Victor 16 to Victor Charlie November. Victor 184. Oscar, Oscar Delta. Then direct to maintain 6000. Angel flight 1602. Angel flight 1602. Thank you. Read back spread. Victor, Charlie, November, and then from there, we're going to be on uh, Victor 184 to Oscar, Oscar, Delta. Okay, let's just double check this. So we're currently on Victor 16, we're taking that to Victor, Charlie, November. After Victor, Charlie, November, we'll join Victor 184. To Woodstown and then direct Philly, and to 6,000. And we'll keep watching the uh, weather up there. So here, going through New York, they want us down at 6,000, which is fine. It's a slight inconvenience, so because we get a little better economy up at 8,000, but I think like the winds might be a little better down here at 6 today. And uh, one thing's for sure. You can tell okay, we're uh, definitely in New York now. There's just a ton of traffic around us on the map here. Uh, you see, we are little planes covered up right now, just right there in the middle. And then all these other little planes, all these other little squares, are uh, other planes. It tells us how high uh, above or below they are. So, like this one is 4,000 feet below us. That one is 800 feet below us and climbing, and uh, so on like that. But there's just a ton of traffic right here because there's. So many huge airports all right next to each other here in the New York area. Occasional lightning and clouds in the distance southwest. Juno and Empress in the distance southwest moving southeast 1032H20294530044. What? Spontaneous approaches and U2 intersecting runway 27. Right at 35. Arrivals expect ILS approach runway 27 right, or visual approach runway 35. Notice this to airmen. Marking 51, contact New York 724.62. Runway 35. 462, marking 851. Indicator out of service. Taxiway high close between Taxiway Sierra and Taxiway Kilo. Taxiway Kilo 3 close between runway 27 right and Taxiway Kilo aircraft using runway 27 left contact tower 135.1. All other aircraft use frequency 118.5. Advise gate assignment to approach control on initial contact. BPD LCTCL service available. New York Center Fever weather avoidance plan in effect liar routes are not active. Attentional aircraft. Hazardous weather information for Philadelphia International Airport area. Number 721, give me any range. Okay, you should be out of it in about six miles. Push comes to shove, you could probably go into northeast Philadelphia. They just have to sit there for 45 minutes until their sister drives. For that airport, all the way across the city. Yeah. Philadelphia approach, Angel Flight 1602, 6000, with hotel heading 300, looking for vectors around the weather. Uh, is that Angel Flight 1602? Yeah, affirmative. Uh, are you, uh, where, where are you landing, sir? Yeah, we're going to Philadelphia. Alright, uh, you want to do the ILS 27 right? Uh, yeah, we can do the ILS 27 right, and I guess, do you have any ride reports? Uh, so it looks like we're on the next ride here, we're showing some moderate over the airport. Yeah, there is some rain or drizzle. I have, uh, so I have a uh, Cherokee going through it right now. He says it's slight drizzle there, but he's on the outskirts of it there. But uh, if, if the only alternative is I could offer you at 3 5. It looks kind of clear to the south there, but there's probably a longer trip for you there, maybe. Okay, we'll try uh, the 2 7 right for now, and uh, if it gets too bumpy or anything, we'll let you know. All right, sounds good. Angel Flight 1602, turn left 7240, join the localized for 2 7 right. 
Turn it
Uh, How did we do it when we got there? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there's okay, off that's, for the wipers. I right. Think. Well, no, so, so this is definitely it. high beam and low beam, and maybe it just stays on all the time. I don't know. What's the off? Over there, or twice, I know. Or how about the, like, the switch next to it? Oh, wait. It just turned off. Oh, that was it. Really? That seems... How, wait, if you go, like, halfway, what happens? Okay. Interesting. It's not on a rheostat, because it's a constant brightness, no matter what. Right. Okay, anyway. Good how, do, how do we turn these lights off? Kevin. <laughs> uh... Okay. okay, there we go. Okay, and then it goes off. Okay. All set, let's go fly. <laughs> <laughs>